I don't know. Run it back. I've got no ideas. Torch. Um. Normally I'd put this in the shield on turn one, but maybe when you've got 10 bonus starting life, it's better to have it in the sword. <laughs> Sail two by two? Nope. What's the Jimbo playing card do? Uh, that's a good question. Wait. Oh, it's not a unique? Uh. On reveal. Gain five random buffs. For each pair before, resist a crit. For each three of a kind before, your weapons use 25% less stamina. For each four of a kind before, activate a random revealed card that is not a Jimbo. Huh. That's... That's not good, right? <laughs> five random buffs is sweet. How much does it cost? Does anybody know? Four of a kind is a lot. If you want to be doubling up on cards. You don't normally want to play card chains that long. Not exactly a spike shield matchup. Uh, yeah, I think that's additive. You get two of these with two three of a kinds. But yeah. The four of a kind, trigger, the three of a kind, and pair. I would think so, yeah. Okay, we will keep buying pieces. I feel like this is probably strong enough that we can get away with it most of the time, but we'll see. Mm 
Fire bend time. I don't know. We could. It doesn't use that much mana, I guess, but. I feel like if it even griefs one activation, you're pretty upset about it. Let's make sure we don't accidentally combine here. Have the orb. Speeds up other activations. Yeah, you get an extra 4% bonus for one mana. But, like, if you're missing out on the next caliber swing, you're missing a whole round of chilies. Which could be worse. I don't know, given that it's just one mana, it's probably fine. I'll give it a shot. Uh, is that even good? I still need to find the pan. We have the pan now. We are now a heroic potion away from the comp. Not bad. Uh, there's the heroic potion. Well, we found the nuts again. Even faster than last time. That next turn. If I put this one over here, you ever just die looking for the pot? That was the entire time that I tried playing Berserker Excalibur. It was, in fact, the only thing that we could do die looking for the potion. Probably. But you ink this whole bag. Makes this a bit easier. Get some of this life. This can go here. Just play the pepper. It's a little better. Sure, that's still combining that way. 
That's a moon shield into my combined turn. Thankfully they have nothing other than that. You. Uh, okay. Probably gonna sell the goob. Depends if we can easily fit in the pepper. I'm not gonna sell it until we figure out positioning. Just can go off in the ether for now. Oh, I only have one pepper anyway right now. Yeah, okay, sure. We're always going to fit that in. Thought I had two. Wait. It wants to be like that. This is over here. This is over here. Get a berry there. Everything on the eggs, Cal. Throw you somewhere. Oh. on selling these. We're getting anything out of just having space. I guess it would let the orb go here instead of here. Yeah, okay. life this way. It's an on-sale mana orb trigger. Looking playable, looking playable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Found the comp we can be. We can go here. If I don't have a great.
great spot for this orb. Stream saw that Excalibur YouTube video, wanted to do it yourself. Around 18, other Berserker also had an Excalibur A. <laughs> Fatigue got to 247. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of the old uh, Poison Reaper mirrors back with the uh, original Corrupted Crystal. Even with the Fatigue going, there was so much armor, the Fatigue numbers went insane. There's gotta be a better orb than this. This is a better orb. Just keep making this friendly fire bad. Hey, Fizor. Okay. We can beat Poison Ivy. Good sign, good sign. Uh, this helps me not get burst. I'm probably going to want to make it Discomfort too eventually. Unfortunately, we have to move my best mana orb. Or stone. Yeah. That almost works. How much mana do orbs generate versus blueberry? Uh, the orbs are still more mana than your blueberries. Because you usually have orb on like two of the foods and then two other things. So every time Excalibur activates, you're getting a mana from the orb. And then you also get mana from the other triggers. Orbs like this are going to be way better where you're on the pan and two chili peppers. This way, every time the pan swings, you get the 50% from each food and then 50% from the Excal as well. Yeah, like the pan also fuels the orbs. Uh... Theoretically. Can't we? Probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not an orb anymore. Yeah, yeah. Could probably go somewhere. Good. Oh, that worked. Good to go. Now we can go up here. I don't think I'm bothering with another one of these. I mean, that's on sale. Not past the on sale mana orb. Uh, just take the space. Does orb placement matter? Uh, it wants to be in the mana orb. It's a fast trigger. Right, this was already on this one. Um...
So we can get a start of combat trigger here. We should build vertical, make room for um e... You could uh yeah, you could. I it's a bit much. I'm happy with just three chilies and a million blueberries right now. I could trim one of the bananas, right? Should be fine. As opposed to one of Valor. Stone skin. I'd rather just comfort. Yeah, I'm more worried about making the orbs good than I am making the friendly fire good. Successfully not burst. Yeah, now I think we just want defensive layers. Yeah, not taking another orb here. Uh, we could take a shield of valor. How much mana do I have? Am I overcapped on mana? I haven't been looking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're a, little, we're a little over Captain. Are we? We could maybe trim a berry. Sure, sure. It's just where do I want to spend the money? Laser on blind, I guess. Maybe that matters. I mean, my blueberries are already doing that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the valor. If I find another orb, I'll take the combine too. Oh wait, I can right. I am this class. I have other ways to block ranged. I grieve a trigger on this orb. It's not even a good trigger on the orb. Oh, 
I think I'm okay on mana. I just want to find defensive layers. I don't think I need to waste money on making the Excalibur better. Ow. Yeah, so this used 154 mana. It was a 14 second fight. I think it had mana every... Nah, no, 0.55 cooldown. Maybe not every time it swung. What does it start at, though? 1.12. Yeah. Let's see. So, Excal there. Excal here. Excal here. It looks like I have the mana every time. Mana for last swing before death. Yeah. Look at all the buffs. Flames run happy fire better. Yeah. That makes me like move everything though. And I'm already like I have a billion constraints on the board. A lot of discomfort. Final mana, we don't need this. It's probably fine. I don't think I'm losing to a poison build. It's a lot of block. This comfort doesn't allow you to beat the light matchups anyway. I don't know. I mean, the idea is that it helps win those matchups. I don't know how much I need to slow down the lamps to be able to scale and beat them. We scale the right number. They just gain some health. Well, that's the final matchup that is basically the dream. <laughs> I'm glad we at least got that. That is what we want out of round 18. They have... Oh, 
flame reduction here. Check block. Ooh. Sapphire is strong. How good is it in like a normal fight? If we have like a 12 second fight? Yeah, it's a lot less exciting in a normal fight. But in the extreme of extremes... <laughs> oh yes. 200 luck comp. 64 blocks for one gold though. Yeah, yeah. Definitely good, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, only 38 poison on our chipped emerald. How much damage did poison do? <laughs> 190. Uh, the chipped emerald was 10% of my damage. Poison <laughs> outfit fatigue. Uh. Hey, Shui. Thanks for the prime. Thanks for the four months. Welcome back. Well, that was spicy.